Hey everyone, uh, another day out in the shop. Just wanted to do an update. I haven't posted a video to YouTube in, in quite a while, so figured I'd do a quick one to show what I've been doing today. It's Father's Day. Uh, this morning, my wife and, and two daughters took me out to breakfast at a local restaurant, had a nice, had a nice meal together, and uh, afterwards they said, uh, go out to the shop and spend your day tinkering with your stuff, because they know that I like to do that. So anyway, um, that was kind of the Father's Day gift to me. So I've been out here since about 9 o'clock this morning. It's it's almost 9 o'clock in the afternoon or evening. Uh, so I've been out here quite a while. Um, but anyway, I wanted to get uh, this project going on. I've been thinking about it for several months, but the power draw bar is what I've been working on today. And it's, it's for my little Optimum uh, BF20L CNC machine. And it's real similar to the Grizzly G0704. Um, anyway, I've had it for, I don't know, 10 or 11 years now, but it's been converted to CNC for about six of those years. And uh, this is kind of the, the latest uh, addition, I guess you could say. It's, it's, it's definitely been through uh, several changes over the years. But anyway, it's, you know, full enclosure, uh, flood coolant, air system the whole nine yards and it, and it works really well it does what it does as long as you know the limitations it'll do pretty much anything you ask of it um, you can see the giant pile of chips uh, I normally clean this thing up but last night I had to run the program to prepare for today's work and what I did last night was basically cut this giant I say giant it's pretty damn thick it's an inch thick uh, the stock piece started out four by ten I think four inches deep by ten inches wide an inch thick and it's uh, 6061 T6 aluminum that I made the mounting bracket for the air cylinder out of. I wanted something pretty sturdy because there's a lot of force on this actual bracket itself so I made it out of some pretty beefy shit so I wouldn't have any issues. Uh, I made all, all the stuff you see basically I made uh, clevis, uh, you know the, the push bar. I'm sure people, some people will recognize that. That's actually a wheel stud for something. But it worked. It was right dead thread size for the cylinder. So I use whatever I got around here, basically. Um, just got a, a manual operated uh, air switch under here. And some hoses and all kinds of good stuff. Normally, it's supposed to mount. This this plate assembly is supposed to float up and down. There's supposed to be springs right here where these, where these sleeves are. Uh, and I tried it like that, but the problem I was having, because it's off-centered, it was when I hit the air cylinder on, it was wanting to cock. Instead of go straight up, it was wanting to twist and then go up, which isn't going to work. So I ended up taking the springs out, putting these hard sleeves in there just to kind of mount this rigidly until I can figure out what I want to do. Um, it works right now. It's, it's, I'm sure it can be improved, but it is what it is. The reason I went with the offset design is because this is back here is a two horsepower uh, treadmill motor that a lot of people use. Um, and this one, it's it's super ghetto, but this is a uh, uh, a big uh, box fan type thing for like it's like an oversized computer fan that I just had to duct tape literally on top of the on top of the motor. It's open at the top, but I duct taped it on there just to kind of get some airflow through it. It's temporary, obviously. That's not normally my style, but it works. I'm gonna leave it on there because. I'm about to take the whole motor off anyway. Like I was saying, the reason I did the offset cylinder is because normally this cylinder would be directly over the top of the draw bar. And there's not a lot of room between the front of the motor and the draw bar itself. So this cylinder would be very close to this motor, which is okay. I, I had room for it. But what I've got is a brand new uh, three-phase AC motor and a VFD for it to mount in place of this. And it's a bigger diameter. It's probably, I think this is roughly... I don't know, four and a half, five inch diameter, and that one's probably six, six and a half inches. It's pretty good, pretty good size motor. So I'm going to need all the room I can get up there to get it all sorted out. So that's why I went with the offset cylinder. Um, another reason that I went with offset was because uh, normally when you mount the cylinder directly over the draw bar, in order to get enough force to push all these Belleville washers down, you need, you need uh, two or three of these cylinders stacked on top of each other in order to get enough, like I said, enough force to uh, release your tool. Um, but with this with this lever, lever set up right here, this is basically a, a four to one, um, you know, lever ratio here. So I've got four times as much force as I normally would on this end, or something like that. I'm sure somebody's going to correct me, but it's a lot more powerful in this setup. Um, 
This is a one inch stroke cylinder, two and a half inch bore. Um, and I'm running 125 PSI on it, which is the maximum. And I've had no problem, obviously, but it, it's uh, working well so far. We'll see how long it lasts. Uh, I actually found these on eBay. This is a name brand, US made. Um, I forget the brand name, but it's on the back of the cylinder here. Uh, there was three of these on sale, or actually on eBay, on auction. Uh, buy it now, actually, it was $8. Eight dollars to buy it now, and the shipping was another eight bucks. So I spent about seventeen, sixteen, seventeen bucks getting three of these cylinders shipped to my house. And they're normally, if you buy them from the manufacturer, they're about at eighty bucks. So I got a hell of a deal on those, and I was like pretty determined to make these work regardless of what I had to do. So if I had to stack them, I was ready to modify them to make them work. But uh, this this one with the uh, this leverage ratio works pretty well just by itself, so that's all I need. But, uh, so yeah, 